In this video, we're going to take a look at organizations within Docker Hub. So organizations in Hub is a way to group teams together. You put Docker IDs inside of teams, and then an organization is a collection of teams. So I'm here on an organization that I created earlier called Stark Magic. And you can see here on the landing page, it shows me a list of the members we have. You can search to find members. Let's do it with Docker, so filters. Over here, you can add members. If you click on an add member, you add their Docker ID, and then you can select what team you want them to join. Second tab, we have the Teams tab. This will show you the list of teams and how many members you have in them. And then on the Repositories tab, this will show you a list of repositories that are associated with this organization. You can see that we have four of them. Then we have a Settings tab. In the Settings tab, you can do things like link accounts. So you can connect in your GitHub repository and a Bitbucket account. Then over here, you can set some default privacy settings. You can say either all your new uh, repositories are either public or private. Then you can also set up notifications, email and Slack notifications. You can select a notified uh, by email. You can turn it off. You can say only notify me when we have failures. Or you can say notify me on everything. Let's keep it off for now. And then you can also connect to a Slack account. To do that, all you need to do is you just click on this plug button here and it'll take you into Slack. You would enter in your Slack workspace. You would authenticate and it would authorize Docker to connect into your Slack. That allows things when you do builds, it'll push notifications into Slack for you. And then on the deactivate tab, you can also deactivate the organization. And then over here on the billing tab, this is where you can manage your billing. Um, your payment methods, what plan you're using. You can upgrade your plan, downgrade your plan, all those things here. And then you can also see a history of your billing. So that's a pretty uh, high level overview of organizations. There's other videos that explain how to create teams, how to add members to teams, and how to sign permissions to those teams. All right, thanks a lot.